Hello and welcome Shruti Dutt again uh, to the Authors Club and uh, how are you doing Shruti? I'm doing fine Lena. actually I'm in total bliss these days. Awesome. I'm living That's in nice. a space, I'm living in a very beautiful space in Rishikesh, it's called the Divine Cottage Lovely. and it's a covid free environment. Beautiful. And I'm within the hills and I have the Ganga view from my room so... I'm truly blessed. Lovely, lovely. I'm so happy to know that. And yes, uh, you know, uh, this particular show or talk show and video that we are starting at the Authors Club is for a lot of people and audience who really want to connect to their own divinity and, you know, unleash their potential, right? So, uh, I mean, of course, we have just written a book together, which was called, which is called The Billionaire Mindset, which was again an initiative by the Authors Club, which was us. So firstly, uh, thank you so much for your article and uh, I'm sure you enjoyed writing and being with us as well, right? How was your journey and would you like to share anything about it? Absolutely. I love this community of authors and uh, there's so much uh, energy, so much contribution, so much love for the people and so much love for our country, which is what I like most. And I really enjoy being with all of you. You know, you're so supportive. And uh, the way you have created this book is also, you know, it just shows how when, you know, uh, in I practice Buddhism a lot. And in that, we have a, a concept called many in body and one in mind. So it is, the Japanese term is a Daidoshin. So when many in body, but they have one in mind, the things like the billionaire mindset comes through. And we have this beautiful anthology written by 36 authors from all over the country coming together and putting it on the shelf. I think it is such a wonderful, uh, you know, exercise. Absolutely. Not only as a book, but as a teamwork, it's been really beautiful. Yes, thank you so much for that. And uh, yes, it's really been lovely having you as well as a part of us. And uh, thank you for being there. And the other thing that I want to ask you about is, like I told you, I want to, I want people to connect with their own divinity, right? So uh, what would you like to share about your journey, which actually got you into an awareness or, you know, a sense of um, consciousness to all these things? Well, I'm still seeking. I'm still looking for more consciousness. I would say I've reached anywhere. But yes, Nina, like, I think I've been a seeker all my life, right from the age of maybe uh, when I was um, in third or fourth standard. I used to wonder a lot about the world. I used to wonder a lot why I'm here, why we are born, where, what, what happens when we die, and what's the purpose of our life. These questions used to come to my mind even as a kid. And often I used to write poetry. I was studying in Christian schools, so I had a lot of, uh, you know, influence about you know, God being there and doing good deeds every day and creating good causes and all that was there. And uh, uh, as a Hindu also, there was a lot of, you know, uh, we prayers and a lot of uh, dependency on the God. And they say, Mannat Mangte, Hindus, Mandir Me Jate, Mannat Mangte, all those things. I've grown up with all that. Hmm. So, but uh, I've always been um, a seeker. I've always been a person who questions everything. And uh, finally, you know, I went through a lot of experiences in life and then I connected to Buddhism. And in Buddhism, I realized a few very basic core things, you know, that it's a uh, Two, three things which I truly believe in, of course, like you said, divinity, we are all actually divine beings, you know, going through a human journey. And uh, somewhere that divinity is within us and it's for us to manifest it, you know. And uh, like in Buddhism, they say the Buddha nature. So I have the Buddha nature and you have the Buddha nature. We are all Buddhas actually. So it's just that when we are in this chaotic world, we sometimes react differently. We, uh, you know, we go through the lower states of life, like anger, hunger, greed. All these are lower states of life which affect us, and envy. All these things. So we do, despite the fact that we are actually Buddhas, despite the fact that we are divine beings, we start behaving like animals sometimes. 
because animality is also part of humanity so the you know the struggle is to be able to live in your higher world to stay connected to your inner divinity jo hum kehte hain na hindu sabha bhi inner brahm brahma brahma hamare andar hai gods and pe hamare andar hai buddhism mein kehte hain everything is inside to wo inside mein kahan hai where is it inside you so now i'm on a journey to look at where the hell is it inside me so now i'm also you know practicing kundalini yoga these days so that talks about you know the inner energy and how to awaken it and uh, there are different ways and methods and mantras and exercises with which you can attempt to awaken it of course if it's a fake and then you become totally enlightened but it's a process so i'm trying to understand that trying to practice it also and uh, like to say or you know the third eye focusing on the third eye and focusing on the sahasrara so all those things are happening the meditations i'm trying to learn and doing all that i'm really enjoying the journey and i am like it's it's you know uh, by default i'm doing all this because i'm in the land of rishikesh i came here actually to improve my health by doing a yoga course i ended up becoming a yoga teacher instead because i did a full yoga teacher training course and then with that came you know like it's always you know when you don't know a thing then you are in total bliss that you, you don't know a subject but once you start studying this more and more and more and once you get interested you don't want to stop so that's what's happening to me these days so uh of course i've known yoga all my life my father was a yoga practitioner and you know my uncle's been teaching yoga for a long time so but uh, wo, it was like you know part of the household ki ha yoga but that depth of yoga came after i did the course and then um, further you know the inner body the chakras we have in our body that understanding of the chakras went into a different level of understanding so then after that the kundalini yoga came and so i'm just doing more and more of it slowly and steadily lovely, and hoping lovely. to understand more and more of it and uh, i hope i'll be able to share it also because i love sharing things with the youngsters especially the youths they always my heart and i feel whatever you know value i can share and give to the next generation because now i'm in the third stage of my life as you can see and um, so it the idea is always to be able to contribute to the youth and the younger people as best as i can i know and you know when you tell me that you're still seeking it really you know makes me aware and alert the more we know the more we want to know in this world right it's just Absolutely. like an endless learning an endless journey of learning which keeps going on however i know you have been uh, in the coaching industry from quite some time i remember recently you gave a talk as well on anger management uh, to one of the ngos you had sent me the invitation uh, right and i could not make it i remember that and i really wanted to in fact um yes. so, you know there are so many things and so many activities that you're still doing around your life right now which is so beautiful and so amazing and you're called the dilli wali nani which is such a beautiful thing i still remember that and i cherish it a lot uh, because it's such a beautiful name which is you know uh, which connects to the soul and uh, in in these times where you know we don't even like and all the kids are so lost in gadgets and all of that i'm sh- i don't even know if they connect with their nannies and dadis anymore the way we did and beyond that i know you can you are connecting these start these kind of dots to the ancient times and you are going ahead and wanting to educate and share some wisdom of yours with more and more children that's what you're looking forward to do i know that so you were sharing about the saturday classes right that um, you're creating where you're going to teach something to children so can you share a little on what exactly are you planning to uh, you know share with the kids yeah hi <laughs> so you know uh, lena delhi wali nani i am a delhi wali and i am a nani so that's how i became a delhi wali nani that's so beautiful uh, on on valentines day 2019 i think it was yes 
So I started recording stories for my own grandchildren. And then one of my co coaches, she told me that, no, you're not doing it only for your own grandchildren. You're going to create a YouTube channel and share that with everybody. Because even my children want to hear you out. So thanks to a push, I made the channel and a lot of children connected. My nieces connected from US and my nieces from Singapore connected and, um, you know, uh, uh, family gets definitely connected. And then to my surprise, a lot many people came in, a lot many children were connecting. And, uh, you know, every time I would think that, okay, I've done enough stories, maybe I should be doing something else. So I would get a message from the YouTube creator group that you're doing fantastically and so many shares of your stories have happened. So shares is something you can't really make out, you know, on the YouTube channel easily unless you go to the dashboard or something. So what I normally saw was, you know, very few likes and one or two comments. So I used to wonder whether I really need to share it with the world like that. But then those uh, feedbacks were very encouraging. And so, and I love telling them stories. I love connecting to children. I love connecting to youth also. And uh, my basic thing is I want to do anything that creates value anywhere. So I'm always excited about doing anything. You tell me it's going to create value, I love doing it. So that's the thing. So I started the stories and uh, now lately, a lot of people have been telling me that please make it more regular because uh, I'd been writing, you know, for your book and doing other things and I did the yoga course. So my stories, I've not recorded any recently. I'm just sharing the pre-recorded stories on and off. So they have been saying, no, we want you live and we want to do it regularly. So come on in and uh, start uh, taking care of the kids every Saturday. Lovely. So I'm planning to do that. So maybe four to five every Saturday, I'll be sharing... Uh, you know, so now that I'm a yoga teacher, you know, I want to amalgamate a bit of yoga, maybe just two or three minutes of yoga because children these days are very smart. If you just give them the understanding, they can go ahead and continue two or three or five, depending on the group, how much they can take. So the basic yoga exercises would be fun for children to do and also give you know, their lungs good exercise and uh, really make them healthy. Because now is the time to, you know, focus on their immunity. I had, in fact, done a dance also for the children, like, knocking on the thymus gland, which improves uh, immunity, you know, when we are happy and we uh, know it, clap your hands on that song. But I had to remove it from the YouTube because of copyright issues. But it was, uh, I choreographed it very well. So maybe on the live, I can really, you know, help them do that. And then uh, I can tell them some value-creating stories which I intend to do. And of course, I would like to uh, connect with the mothers also. So in case they have any issues uh, with their children, you know, because I, everybody, um, actually I really didn't want to do this because I have raised three of my own children almost on my own. And I have raised a lot of my friends' children also <laughs> side by side as, as my own children were growing. I was counseling others also. So I've done that all my life. So I wanted to actually put a halt to that and do something else now. But I think everybody really wants me to do that. And maybe like it says, no, the God yeah, wants me to do that. God wants to do that. So I'm thinking of uh, giving in and I'm going to do that definitely because I love doing that. It's not that I don't. So I will start this class for children on Saturdays, four to five. And uh, maybe before the class starts, I would like to connect to their mothers for about 10 minutes so that I know if there are any issues with the child or anything she wants me to work on, I can do that. Because I think, you know, looking after a child has to be a combined effort of the parent, the teachers, the family, everybody should be involved Absolutely. because children are our precious future. The whole country's future depends on how our children grow up. So yeah. it's a very, very serious issue. It's not, you know, just ki bacche ko kahani sunani hai. It is building the nation, building the future. Yeah. I see it like that. Absolutely. So, so why don't you let our audience today know a, a story which you're going to share with the kids so that they get an idea of what kind of stories you would share. And, you know, they would be more than happy to inquire for their kids as well. 
Yeah. So, Lina, on my YouTube, I have shared a lot of Jantak Katha since I told you I've been into Buddhism. So, a lot of Buddhist parables are there. I have shared the Ramayana, especially for the benefit of the NRI children in English and also for the students and uh, children in the villages who already know it in Hindi. So, when they hear it in English, their communication improves, you know. So, my channel is, of course, you know, I do a bilingual storytelling. I tell the same story in Hindi and then also in English. So, that a child who wants to improve English can hear it first in Hindi and then in English and also try to tell the same story in English to the parents if Love the parents it. encourage the child. So, they automatically, without realizing, will improve their grasp on the language as well as you know, imbibe a lot of values from the story. So that's how I conduct the uh, channel and I'll probably do something like that in the uh, groups I made. It all depends on the kind of children and the groups who connect to me. So right now you want me to tell you a story. I can just tell you a short story, which is one of my favorites. It's, uh, I don't know where it's come from, actually. I don't know whether it's a uh, Jatakatha or whatever. It's one of been one of my personal favorites. So uh, would you like me to tell it in Hindi or in English? Anything that you're comfortable with. <laughs> so Hindi me suna deti hun, since the rest of the talk is in English. So ek bar ek nawab the. Aur wo jo nawab the na, unka bahut sundar ghar tha. Aur bahut pyari si unki bivi thi, naukar chakar the, bade ashme rehte the. महल बहुत ही प्यारा था उनका और वो बड़ी खुश रहते थे हमेशा कुछ किसी को नहीं कहते थे बड़े अच्छे मिजाज के बड़े प्यारे से नवाब थे पर वो नवाब थोड़े आलसी भी थे ठीक है तो एक बार क्या हुआ उनके महल में ना आग लग गई और जब आग लग गई तो सारे लोग इधर उधर भागने लगे सारे बंद करके बाहर निकल गए अब जो नवाब थे वो बैठे रहे अंदर वो निहट वो आराम से बैठे रहे तो लोगों ने कहा देखो नवाब हमारे कितने ब्रेव है ये तो डरते ही नहीं है इनको तो डर ही नहीं लग रहा सारे आग से डर के बाहर भाग रहे हैं आराम से बैठे हुए हैं ये तो महान है तो जब बाहर से सब लोगों ने पानी वानी डाल के कैसे कैसे आग बुझा दी तो फिर जाके नवाब से पूछा कि आप एक बात बताओ आप डरे नहीं बिल्कुल हम तो बड़े हैरान है कि आप डरे नहीं हम तो सब बार बार गए आग लग गई थी आप इतनी शांति से कैसे बैठे रहे तो नवाब कहते हैं भागना तो मैं भी चाहता था पर किसी ने मुझे जूते ही नहीं पहना है तो भागता है कैसे मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी कोई आएगा और आपको जूते नहीं पहनाएगा तब आप भागोगे ऐसा तो नहीं करना चाहिए ना ऑल दो एज आई एम ऑल्सो नवाब so the story came up when i was you know not feeling too well and i used to sometimes wait for my staff to get me my shoes to mere ghar mein bada ye joke bana rehta tha ki nawab ko joote pehna ho because they <laughs> only when they would get the shoes and i would wear them i would get up and go for a walk so That's but this really is not how we should be we should be Absolutely. wearing our own shoes and running out and exercising especially when we are young kids so and it's very very important to do our own work as says no atmanirbhartha bahut zaruri hai apni is cheez ko develop karna not yes self reliance not to wait for anyone to help you out for every small thing beautiful so this is just one of the short stories because other stories have become very long for today's so i thought i'll share this with you lovely so how did you like it It's beautiful. It's so cute and very nice. And yes, even in the motivation industry, a lot of people say this quote, right? That uh, you'll have to do the push-ups yourself. I can't do it for you. So it's something that Absolutely. is very, very relevant to what people need to learn in today's world. So it's beautiful. Yes. Thank you so much for it's sharing. It's a very important seeding to be done in the children's mind. Absolutely. The children. Let me tell you. I will tell you. Children love to do things themselves. They love it. But some of our pampered children, you know, because these days we have just one or two kids, and there are maids and servants to help them. So even parents are ordering the maids. उसको जूते पहनाओ, उसको ये करो, उसको वो करो. So children are not picking up their own habits. Absolutely. So even if you have support of the staff, it is better that the mothers monitor and make sure the children do their work themselves. You know. Lovely. So that will make them very confident and independent individuals. I'm so sure they'll get this by coming to you. 
they will become self reliant yes. is what i'm trying absolutely. to say absolutely that's the most important thing beautiful really right now the child all our life very important you know to yeah. have the self confidence and self reliance yes sure thank you so much for sharing such an amazing story and uh, thank you for joining us today it was uh, a great uh, you know uh, show and uh, looking forward to meet you soon thank you so much leena it's always thank a you. pleasure to be with you i also Same look forward here. to meeting you soon again so thank fun. you so much thank you take care bye bye bye